Enemies in the game have a variety of different weaknesses. Mm -hmm. He happens to be weak to fire. Okay. The other guys happen to be weak to the axe. The axe. Yeah. And this guy just happens to be weak to getting a sword in his throat. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. Hey guys, welcome back to PlayStation Underground. You got Kristen here. We're playing Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is the latest title from From Software. I got Andrew and Justin here. Hey guys. Hey, hey. Andrew, Hello. Andrew's going to be playing for us. Andrew, tell us a little bit about this game. Happily. So, Ooh. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is takes place in 1500 Sengoku era Japan, and it's From Software's fantastical vision of it's, what that period of time It's would beautiful. Be. It's Absolutely. sunny, it's bright. It's vibrant, it's orange. Already it's, quite a departure from, from Software's previous games. Yes. But it's got that intense combat that we know and love. It sure does. And I want to demonstrate a little bit of that here in just a second. Oh, that looks so brutal. Oh, I see we got a guy up here. Yes, this guy's really gonna make my life miserable. Or not. Or not. <laughs> or you'll make his miserable. Ooh! Careful. Now this guy looks a little bit tougher. I notice he has two uh, diamonds up in the upper left-hand corner. What does that represent? So this guy is a mid-boss. Okay. okay. And he's known as the Samurai General. He really tests everything that you will have learned in the demo up to this point. Got mm. it. He is very strong, he's very fast, and he has a huge moveset. And I want to try to take this guy on with my sword here. Oh, so nice. So what you saw there was an example of something called Mikiri, and the idea behind that is that I dodge into his attack rather than away from his attack. Got it. So it rewards me for being aggressive. Very cool. So you don't always want to be defensive. Sometimes exactly. Sometimes you gotta just dive right into into the fray. It feels like being aggressive in combat is kind of a theme with this game. Yes, absolutely. You okay. can be rewarded or you can be heavily penalized for being too <laughs> aggressive. In this case, I'm trying to strike a friendly balance between the two. Yeah, the, the death and resurrection mechanic is really interesting too. I'm sure that we'll see some of that later. Ooh. Oh, I can assure you, you will see the death mechanic and it won't <laughs> be by choice. <laughs> so what just happened is you sort of have been going on this back and forth with posturing and now you just had that finisher move that knocked out one of his uh, diamonds. So it's not quite just attacking, like you guys are sort of defending and doing a back and forth. That's exactly what it is. It's a little bit of a dance, a bit of a tug of war. And the idea here is that I'm trying to break through his posture. And Which he's is represented at the mine. top of the screen there, that yellow bar. Yes, precisely. Oh. Nice. <laughs> He does not like you. Almost, almost. Oh. See, I would have gotten greedy there. I would have done the classic from software thing and gotten killed right when I was about to kill the guy. Yes, I do it all the time. <laughs> oh. Somehow I managed to stay strong. Very cool. Nice. Nice work. Thank you. Man, you made short work of that guy. So, so our, I was about to say, our protagonist has this prosthetic arm. You know, in the one hand, he always has the katana, but then on the other hand, he can sort of switch out different abilities. Very, very cool. We're about to see some of that here. Yes. And what you'll also notice is that certain enemies are weak to certain prosthetic tools. Mm -hmm. that so you enemy, have this axe out here. Yeah, he happens to be weak to swords, or I'm sorry, to axes, and you can cut through the shield like butter. If you don't do that, he will block nearly every attack that you throw at him. Interesting. Nice. So there's also a level of strategy of which attachment you want to use. Bingo. And certain enemies, like this guy, are weak to a sword in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were, uh, one of the other tools you were using was that flame vent, I think it was called, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah, and, and that's how you let your sword on fire. Yep, I can light my sword on fire. I can light enemies mm. on fire. Um, I can kind of break them out of the attacks that they're performing. So there's a lot of different ways you can utilize it. Nice. nice. Now in this area, there's this big angry looking guy attached he, to- He looks angry. Oh yeah, he's mad. He's, he's really upset. I'm not sure why. Didn't have breakfast. <laughs> And here in this area, I can jump right down. Mm -hmm. You can see off to the right-hand side, I can grapple up to this oh, tree, okay. or I can sneaking. take a sneaky, stealthy approach, Ooh. which I'm going to do right now. I'm a fan of that. But in order to do oh. that, I can't get caught. Oh, careful. Hi, sweet so little old lady. The sweet little old lady, she has a bell. She's not particularly dangerous, but we're not gonna take any chances. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, okay. little old lady. Well, so much for that. She, was, she was more evil than you realize. Oh, okay. She had it coming. Trust me. Ah, so these sculptor <laughs> idols, they're sort of a, a checkpoint for you. Yes, that's exactly what they are. They will also refill your healing gourd, which oh. is the bottom right-hand corner of the screen there. That nice. is helpful. 
Good so there's know. some some parallels with Froms other games here. Yes, absolutely. This game will feel familiar, but as you learned earlier, it's distinctly different in terms of how it actually feels with yeah. the combat. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, we uh, you didn't see this in this episode, but I got a chance to play this a little bit earlier, and I did not. I wasn't doing nearly as well as Andrew's doing <laughs> right now. I was hanging in there, but man, he's making this game look good. I mean, it just goes to show you that the more that you play the game, the more that you get to know the different attack styles and you get a good feel for it, the yeah. easier it's going to get. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. And this guy, he's weak to fire, but only nice. for a certain oh, period oh, oh. of time. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> got to get right out of his way. He's got some really, really good moves, which you'll see in just a second. And even though he doesn't have a weapon, I can still block his attacks. Nice. So I can't be afraid to put up my sword and prevent taking those hits. I like how the other guy's like, I'm here too. <laughs> let me help, let me help. <laughs> oh. Well, all right, your turn. If I saw you take out that dude and then you turned around to fight me, <laughs> right. I don't know how I'd feel about that. And then I walk up to you like this. Be exactly. Nice. <laughs> all right, are we going to do this? Are we really going to do this? Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. It's just a gorgeous game. Yeah, this game looks fantastic. Yeah, it's it's stunning. And you get to see a little bit more of how beautiful the game is a bit later in the demo. And I love that it's a really good combination. You can go stealthy, you can sort of go in guns blazing, but you really got to figure out what your plan of attack is going to be. Yeah. Absolutely. So one thing I didn't mention earlier is that this massive castle in the background is actually our current objective. Oh. Oh, okay. There's a young lord who's being held captive in this castle, and uh. I'm, I'm, I've been dishonored, and I'm trying to get back to this young lord. Mm -hmm. I see. So now you can see our bridge is broken, and you guys will get to see an area that we have not shown anybody else yet. Ooh, Ooh. let's do it. So let's hop right in. Since I'm a shinobi, I'm not going to be stopped by a little old broken bridge. <laughs> Little old ladies don't stop you. Broken bridges don't stop you. No, nothing. Something's okay. rumbling. I was going to say, Let's we are not alone. It's getting tense. Looks like we can hop over there. Careful. Oh, nice. I was scared for a minute. Yeah, I thought <laughs> you were going to fall. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, I see a tree. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Well, that's different. He's probably friendly, though, right? Uh, you think? Go, 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 pet him. I was Maybe say, you can you try. <laughs> he's got, he's got little hairs on his chin. He likes his chin scratched. <laughs> Let's find out if he's friendly. I was gonna say, is he looking for you? Uh oh. He is. He's not friendly. There aren't that many friendly entities in from software games. I feel like. I think you're right about that. <laughs> so we're so just I gonna stay hidden. Yep. I definitely don't want to get caught by this guy. Now, yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> this is just a little taste of some cat and mouse-like gameplay that you can expect from the larger oh, game. Oh my goodness! Oh, look God. at that! Look at how good that looks! I Holy know. cow! Yeah, I love. I love this snake. This is one of my favorite enemies in the game. That's so cool. So I think I can get by him now. Get in there! Hurry! 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 hurry. Oh. Oh. oh! Okay. Oh man! Oh, you're just like, you're taunting him. You're brave. I got a little too close. All right, and now moving on, you will see this suspicious wall here in the middle of Ooh. a mountain. Oh, How wow. odd. Wow. So this is just a little <laughs> tease. We just want to show players that there's going to be secrets. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff to explore, including mm. ninja walls. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to a new area. Ooh. Yep, and this is one of the other areas that has I, never been seen before. Man, can I just say, I love how we were in that like really dark, uh, uh, gritty looking cave, and then we came out into this beautiful, colorful yeah, area here. From Software has always been just exceptional at environmental design, and I feel like it's, it's really refreshing to see them have a chance to kind of spread their wings and do something different here. Oh, absolutely. They have a beautiful aesthetic, and the juxtaposition of going out of the cave into this brightly lit, gorgeous, orange red environment is pretty cool yeah but as with most things from software the serenity doesn't last very long oh. speak of the devil speak of the devil and now we get to fight the speak corrupted, the corrupted, corrupted monk. Monk. Yeah. look at her <laughs> i love the cackling that's great that's one of my favorite part of from software games it's just the voice acting the sound design i i love the way that this boss is animated too so fluid so yeah. so uh uh just kind of smooth Yes, and her, her clothes all flow. Everything is in motion. It's almost it's almost elegant. Yes, and you can see when she does her attacks, 
leaves will fly up off the bridge. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And then again, I am going to try to take on <laughs> a very difficult enemy while I'm what, talking. We'll what, see what happens. What's your win rate against this boss? It's it's not super good, I can tell you that. <laughs> what is it when you're not trying to host an episode of a Let's Play style? <laughs> I was going to say, I'm I, sure it's much easier when you're not trying to talk. Ooh! Nice. I would, I would say I have about a 70% success rate. Okay. All right. I like those odds. Practice makes perfect. Practice does Ooh. make perfect. Seems Glad it's not me playing right now. If you're oh if you're old and your skills have rusted, it doesn't really help. <laughs> I love the setting. Oh, come on, man! You can't be that old. <laughs> Alright, you got me. So this I don't know where she's gonna come. I can't lock onto her. Uh, this fight's interesting. But I can't escape if need be. Oh, nice. But she can still get me from up here. So she I can need chase to, you up yes, there as well. Yes, she can. So you can Stay see. mobile. She can still get me. She's. Cleared the fog there. Every attack in the book. Oof. I like that there are different phases that this fight is. Yeah. Kind of yes. Going so now I can resurrect. I get a second chance on this fight, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to help me, especially if I can't get out of the way of her unblockable attack quick enough. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So let's see if what I can do here. You got this. So right there, you can see I did a couple of different things. That I was, was able cool. to dodge her sweep attack, and I jumped off of her. Oh, yeah. So is that like you jumped to her and then jumped again and you like used her like a springboard? That is exactly what I did. Wow, okay. Oh. And right there, I I did a Mikiri, which means I dodged into her attack. Uh -uh. Man, there's a lot going on in this game. Yes, yes there is. We want to make sure that we, we, we keep players challenged, keep them on their toes, but it's fair. Very cool. Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys can play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, March 22nd. Thank you again, Andrew. Uh, and we'll see you on the next episode of PlayStation Underground. PlayStation.